The James Bond franchise, which has thrilled and inspired legions of fans for over 50 years, wouldn't quite be the same without its rich history of theme songs. Those who are asked to pen them are not simply writing a song for the film, but offering up something that will forever be attached to the 007 legacy. When Jack White's turn came around in 2008, he made double the history by recording the first and only duet to serve as a Bond theme, with the help of another young star, Alicia Keys. This is UCR's Odd Couples. Make sure to subscribe so you'll get videos like this one as they become available. 2008's Quantum of Solace was the 22nd film of the Bond franchise and the second movie to star Daniel Craig, who appeared alongside Bond girl Olga Kurylenko and Matthew Amarik as Dominic Green, the film's main villain. In the movie, Bond seeks to avenge the death of his former lover, which leads him to the country of Bolivia and to Green, a member of the Quantum organization, which plans to launch a coup and hijack the country's water supply. Another Way to Die, the song White wrote for this film, is every bit as dramatic as its plot. At the time, White was still a member of the White Stripes with his wife Meg, but had already begun collaborating with various other musicians. In 2008, he released his second album with the Raconteurs, Consolers of the Lonely. Keys, meanwhile, was one of the biggest stars in the music industry, having then recently released 2007's As I Am, her fourth consecutive number one album, which sold millions of copies and earned her countless awards. All four of the LP singles, including the chart-dominating No One, reached the top 100. White and Keys came from uniquely opposite backgrounds. He, the youngest of 10 children in Detroit, she, an only child to a single mother in New York City. And yet both had fallen into music from an early age, their careers finally colliding for Another Way to Die, on which White sang, played drums, guitar, and piano, and Keys added her own vocal part. For White, who said at the time that he'd been wanting to work with Keys for a few years, the process was cathartic in a way. It gave me a new voice, he said in a statement. I drummed for her voice and she mimicked the guitar tones. Then we joined our voices and screamed and moaned about these characters in the film and their isolation, having no one to trust, not even themselves. Maybe we became them for a few minutes. The song was recorded reel to reel in Nashville and released by White's own label, Third Man Records. It might be the first analog Bond theme in 20 years, said White. We wanted to push soul into those tapes. Keys thought the matchup was actually quite suitable. Jack's sound is very raw, very cut and dried, drums and guitars, she said at the time. I thought that by combining that style with mine, which already has a raw feel to it, and with my voice, we could do something really interesting that mixes rock and soul together. Another Way to Die was nominated for Best Song at the 2008 Critics' Choice Awards, and its accompanying music video earned a nomination for Best Short Form Music Video at the 2009 Grammy Awards. The ultimate compliment, though, might have come not from any award, but from a fellow guitarist, Prince, who White ran into at a concert around the time of the song's release. He said, I really like it, White recalled in 2022. And I said, oh, that's great, because some people, it's like making a song for Star Wars fans or something. It's a very divisive track. Prince replied, oh, I thought it was real strong. I'm Allison Rapp for Ultimate Classic Rock. Make sure that you're subscribed to this UCR channel for all of the best news and history of classic rock and pop culture. And go ahead and hit the notifications button so you receive all of our latest videos and interviews like this one.